Hi, I'm Alicia, I'm a model, and I'm feeling pretty anxious about being here. Uh, I started modelling with my two sisters. My parents wanted us to do a sport and that didn't really stick too well. So they were like, all right, you're doing modelling. <laughs> From there, we just started doing paid classes. Uh, we got moved up into development and started doing paid jobs after that. My first job, because not all of them were paid, so you do a lot of like creative test shoots, that kind of thing. You're just trying to get images, you know help me, I help you. It was in some kind of warehouse and it was like a New York style shoot. And it was very exciting for me at that time, you know, uh, never done a shoot before. Yeah, from then on, I just started getting more paid jobs. I can't actually remember the first paid job that I got. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's helped me improve my confidence a lot. Always been very anxious. Uh, and like low self-esteem so when you're in you know doing something like modeling and you're in the spotlight uh, you get to wear beautiful clothes um, be complimented and supported get paid to you know be you really that's something I loved about it yeah you meet lots of people it's I love how you get to network a lot which is something I'm very excited about going to Sydney because Perth is very small <laughs> everyone knows each other so I need to yeah get out there so basically I experienced rejection when I went to both Europe and Japan. You know, it's hard when you go out of your way to chase that dream and see these new agencies and think that uh, it went really well when you leave and then they say they don't want you. That was really hard. My instant reaction is to cry, <laughs> just to like let it out. But then yeah, I talked to my family and partner and everything about it. And I realized that I didn't even want to be with that agency anyway, because of that experience, you know? So it's like the thing I was talking about earlier, like the right fit. Um, you wanna be around people that support you, <laughs> that love you. <laughs> you get reminded a lot about the obvious things that you have to maintain, which is your body and to like your skin. I've been trying to work out a lot, uh, a lot as in, you know, like as when I can. And then I also started taking Rakutane for my skin. So that's been really hard. Uh, I've been, I've just gotten off it. Been happening for a year and that has, you know, in itself affected my well-being. Well, the change I see is, you know, a lot on body image and accepting, you know, diversity in all different forms. See it on all the runways and photo shoots and everything. So that's great. <laughs> and I can only imagine that's gonna keep on going into the future, even though it's so new. I think it's been good. Yeah, I think there's a lot of learning, a lot of like growing, being able to like learning how to, you know, face rejection and not take people's comments to heart so much. And it's also, a, I always get like a realization after something bad has happened where I'm like, I've put myself in this situation. Like I don't have to be here. So I kind of remind myself of that, you know, that I want to be here. It's hard like comparing yourself to such beautiful people from all around the world, but then you just have to remind yourself that there's only one of you. <laughs> when you do model, there's another layer of pressure because that's your job. Like this is what you're being judged on, is how well you can pose or speak or whatever it is. It's taken a long time like so long and I'm not even there yet <laughs> I'm not 100% comfortable on skin but yeah I think it's literally like me just talking to myself <laughs> like in a day-to-day -day, like journaling or talking to other people and you kind of get a good sense of the kind of person you are and what you can bring to the table that differentiates you from everyone else I think I love my openness, love for just talking to people. Go ahead, do it. Um, you know, it's great to build confidence and discover, you know, things about yourself you didn't know. But I would tell them to make sure that you are able to stay true to yourself. Be strong because it's fucking hard. It's not easy. You know, you really got to work on yourself.